This is quite a unique home. It's not like many I've seen. Everything in the home is designed around multiple atriums that run along the center of the home. The result is a light-filled and airy space no matter where you are in the house. My name is Viti Melam Konyani and welcome back to Viti Melam Konyani Studio. Today we bring you the atrium house. The home's architecture can be likened to two barns tied together by glass walkways, moving from one space to another. A high contrast color scheme of eggshell white and charcoal highlights are combined with country red brick as an accent. The front of the home is punctuated by two large gable ends with large glass panels running down the side. They outline a beautiful Japanese-inspired entry, detailed with vertical wood cladding with a colorful garden peeking through. As you approach the home, you can hear the water flowing in the background, a precursor to the experience the home provides. As you walk through the front gates, you are greeted by a tranquil space. A bridge provides a walkway to the entry, overlooking a large quay pond and water fountain. The entrance hall provides the first glass walkway bridging the two sides. The left side of the home houses all the bedrooms, with the right side of the home housing all the entertainment and utility spaces. The first space encounter is the family room with the first of the two courtyards to the left. A large, gray, comfortable sectional is paired with two stone coffee tables and an industrial console. These normally harsh elements are balanced by greenhouse plants that you'll find throughout the home. The open plan nature of the home combined with the vaulted ceilings allows for a very large kitchen. The star of the show has to be the detailed island. Viewed in three phases, the right of the island has a beautiful stone overhang providing stool seating. The black vertical paneling on the island provides a canvas for the beautiful copper stools. You also find a matte black sink and a faucet on this section. The middle is a dark boxy stone overlay over the counter, giving height and presence to the island. The third section has a beautiful mute lime green cabinetry wrapping around the island, creating a space for the black gas stove. The back wall of the kitchen is a black and white space with minimalist cabinets framing a linear sliding window looking into the side yard. A large sliding barn door gives way to a pantry and a scullery. A formal dining room with hanging geometric lights has access to both courtyards. It provides the second last walkway to the kids' bedrooms. The first bedroom is a themed boys' room with floor to ceiling buildings. And suit is a small bathroom with large vanity, a hanging light pendant, a concealed system toilet, and a large black frame shower. The second bedroom is a themed girls' bedroom similar to the first room. Although the color scheme is quite bold with shades of pink glaring the decor, you find a similar layout in the bathroom with a unique pendant light over the vanity. As you walk through the hallway, you have a tranquil seating area located in the second atrium. The hallway wraps around, entering the primary suite. A large bed is accompanied by two hanging light pendants. A wall separates the sleeping area with the spacious walkthrough dressing room. Peeking around the corner is a luxurious master bathroom. It has a black freestanding soaker tap with a geometric wall tile framing the faucet. A matching double vanity has the same wall tile as a backsplash with two Art Deco basins sitting on the stone top. You also have a frameless double shower and an enclosed water closet. The last of the entertainment spaces is the billiards room. 
equipped with seating and a weight bar area. It's accompanied by a powder area with copper accents, a red brick backsplash, and a detailed mirror. The large corner doors open up to a covered area with brown seating. It leads to a large backyard with greenery and a swimming pool. Other rooms include an insert guest room off the entrance, as well as a staff quarters. The home blurs the lines between the interior and exterior, giving you a true indoor-outdoor experience. Homes like these are very important. They embody what creative architecture should be. It looks beyond aesthetics and trains, creating a house that provides an otherworldly experience. As always, for more details about the builder and architect, see the description below.